it over a bit. Yeah. Or guy. No, no, a little bit that way. Yeah, I cracked it. Now you can go. So wait, uh, I'm not sure which one first. Wait, you're not in the middle anymore. So I'm moving the camera. Right. Whatever, it's okay. You're pretty much in the middle. Okay, so um, I just want to let people know that I'm not exactly qualified to be giving this advice, but um, I've been through a lot, and I really think I can help people, and I, I want to help people, so that's why I'm doing this. Um, my name is Jason Waterfall, and um, I'm here with my friend over here with the camera. Okay, I'm supposed to turn it now. No, I'm no. supposed to go in front. Okay. No. Put it back. Put it back. Okay, okay. I was I was gonna put it back after I got it. No, that's not how it works. I can't. No, okay. I'm stuck. Ah, I'm stuck. Ah, okay. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, I don't press the stop. Relax. A movie by Jason Waterfall. With the help of Allison Hardy. Sit back. Relax and enjoy the movie. This is making me so dizzy. Oh uh, yeah, me too. You just have a warning for epilepsy. Can you please just press the record button? I mean the end record button. <sighs> and I'll talk louder. Okay. Okay, so this first one is for when you accidentally run into a glass door, um, or any other kind of door, in public. This can be super embarrassing, especially if there were people there and they saw you. Uh, I think it's important to remember that there was a reason you were running, and so you should finish doing whatever it was you were doing quickly and quietly. And when you're done with that, you did just run into a glass door, so you, or another kind of door, whatever kind of door you ran into. Um, go think if you need to. Bathrooms are probably the privatest place in public to think. Definitely. Yeah. Bathrooms are amazing. Ugh, that's weird. Um, <laughs> any. <laughs> I meant like for thinking. Uh-huh. Um, after that, uh, go, go talk to people. If they're your friends. If they're not your friends, why do you care what they think? Yeah. You care about what your friends think because they're your friends. You're weird, and then they might be embarrassed if you're weird or something like that. Like, you you care about what they think of you because you're 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 their friend, and you won't want to make sure they're happy. But you shouldn't care really what a stranger thinks about you. It's incidental. And uh, let them know you're okay. Unless you're not okay. If you're not okay, you should make sure that they know you're not okay. But if you are okay, make sure they know you are okay. If yeah. you're not okay, if you're not okay, they will help you. If you are okay, they'll be happy to know that because they're your friend. Yeah. They'll probably be embarrassed for you. But later you might have a funny inside joke. Yeah, like, haha, remember that time you ran into a glass door? That was funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh. <laughs> Although I think it broke my nose. Yeah. I never went to the doctor after that. You never went to the doctor, but you think you broke, blah, 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 broke your nose. It's attached to my face, so it's fine. This is probably done now, right? Yeah, probably. Okay. Okay. I think this next one applies to a lot of people. This is how to deal with playing in Monopoly. Oh. You know, I think you should give me the script so I know what, what you're going to say so I can be prepared. Oh. Uh, that's a good idea. Um, you mean, like, right now? Or, like, can you wait till, like, this is done? Uh, later's okay. Okay, good. Because, like, I only have one copy. Uh, okay. Yeah. So, uh, Monopoly. Monopoly can be very, very stressful. You play for five hours, waste all your money, try to make deals, and end up losing. So the first thing you should remember is that Monopoly is a bad choice for a game. Like, a really bad choice. If you have the choice to not play Monopoly, definitely don't choose playing Monopoly over whatever else there is. I think the best thing to do for this is just, like, remember, you hate Monopoly. You don't like it. Don't play it. Yeah, remember that time that you broke my table because you hit it so hard? 
That must have been super stressful for you. That was an accident! Plus, you, like, broke my lamp. Uh, yeah, I did. Now we're comparing Monopoly battle scores. Scores of scars. Good job. <laughs> good job, Allison. You're so good at saying things that are words. Okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. So, I think mostly this just happens because we can't play Monopoly. Like, we suck at it. And yeah, other people are like, like, we're like, what's money? <laughs> yeah. Money? Where'd that? Uh, that's my life. <laughs> it's, it's also, like, weirdly, like, real life. Like, uh, nobody wants to capitalism. spend their fun times doing things that they have to do in normal times, like... Real life. Yeah. Yeah, she just say no to whenever anyone asks. And I am going to buy another board game I can bring with me everywhere. Just be like, yeah. When people say Monopoly, you'd be like, no, I've Hungry Hungry Hippos. Uh, sure, you want to play Hungry Hungry Hippos? Yeah, I haven't played it in so long, you know? Me neither. Does it count as a board game? I'm not sure. I mean, like, there is a board, I think. I actually don't remember. There is a board. There's a little circle. With They're just, like, pieces hippos. on the board. I think it's a board game. I think it's a board game. It goes in a box. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so if you if you do all these things and still somehow end up playing Monopoly, you should remember it's just a game, even if it doesn't feel like it. Because it feels like real life and that's so annoying. Like, why are we pretending to spend money when all I have to do in my normal time is spend money? <laughs> okay, so what was I saying? Uh, oh yeah, if you still want to play Monopoly, uh, and... You do end up feeling like you're going to get super upset or you are super upset or something. You just, like, take a deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. And that's the, if that doesn't help, help because it doesn't always help. It really is only, like, sometimes thing. Um, excuse yourself and say you got to go to the bathroom. Oh, it fell off. Yeah, it fell off. <laughs> okay. Say you have to go to the bathroom. Remember, you can only take a few minutes in the bathroom, though, because, like, you know, the bathroom. Yeah, last time I went, like, Nobody wants to go in after me because I took so long. Oh. Okay. Okay. Um. <laughs> uh. That's it. So, folks, if you don't like Monopoly, don't play it. And hopefully, everything will be alright. Yeah. Okay, so is it time to move on now? Yeah. Okay, so here's the script, and you can read it tonight, and that way you'll know what's up. Okay, I have to turn off the camera. Happy face. Happy. Make it a normal happy face. Okay. Okay, this next one is for when you buy the wrong birthday present for your best friend. But when did you do that? I bought my best friend a, a tuba instead of trombone, and they asked for a trombone, and... I didn't ask for a trombone. I wouldn't ask you for really expensive things. I said I'd like one. And then you went out and bought me a tuba, which I don't know how you afforded, but somehow you did it, and I really love it. It's fantastic. You want to come jam with me sometime? Do you like instruments you can play? I have a guitar. We can have a jam session. Yeah, jam. We should eat jam while we have the jam session. Normal people don't eat jam. Excuse me. Okay, so, um, I bought my best friend a tuba instead of trombone, and it made me really sad, and I kind of wanted to cry, and... You wanted to cry? Well, yeah, but, um, uh, I love the tuba, okay? I told you, I learned to play it. It's a fantastic instrument. It's really loud and annoys my neighbors, but it's fantastic, and I love it. Okay, so, what I do when I'm sad like this is I just think, this is for whenever any be sad. Just think of happy things, like clowns. Clowns make me happy. And I don't know if I make other people happy, though. Well, then why did they make all those happy movies where clowns pop up and then everybody screams with joy in the audience? It seems like... <laughs> those are horror movies. What? Yeah, they scream because they're terrified. Other people don't like clowns. No. Well, think of other things that make you happy, like horses or... Unicorns, which are better than horses. Or superheroes, but not supervillains, because supervillains are sad and evil. And s Please smile, Allie. Mm -hmm. You're not smiling enough. Allie, stop bouncing. Okay. 
Okay, I, I think this is over. Just, okay, for the audience, think of things that make you happy and talk to your friends. They'll probably understand. If you're confused, and that that's fine. Just like the communication is always important. And they're your best friends. They they they're gonna understand. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna stop, uh, stop this. Okay, so this next one uh, can be really upsetting and frustrating, but the best thing to do is stay calm and you can work through it. This next one is for when more than one person calls you at work. When did this happen to you? Uh, what, do you think you don't have friends? No, I just don't know when it could have happened to you. Okay, well, this is when I was applying for jobs. Um, I applied to like 20 different places at lunch. probably wasn't the best idea, but I, I ended up being calls from two people at once and that that really sucked because the first uh, caller thought I hung up on them but I didn't so I had to tell the second caller that I would get back to them in a few minutes but by the time I did that the first caller had hung up uh, so I had to call them both again I had, find, I had to find the phone number for the first caller I had to let them both know it was up but uh, ended up being able to work through it and um um uh you know uh I actually ended up getting a job at the first place I called so that was good. Oh, okay. Uh is something wrong? Well I don't think you followed the script, so did you read it? Yeah man, I wrote the script. Oh, so like why aren't you giving anyone any new advice or anything? Like, you didn't even give anyone, like, actual, like, relaxation advice except for, like, the the one where, where I had to dress up as a clown. Oh, no, this is a coping with life tape. Did you not know that? No, I thought it was a relaxation tape. I was like, you know, this isn't really a good movie for relaxation. But now that I know that the coping for life tape, I, I guess I can say that to you because I, like, I, I, I didn't know what to say to you before. I was like, you know, my friend isn't really good at writing relaxation tapes and I don't want to be rude about it, but like... No, it's a coping with life tape. Yeah, it's a really good coping with life tape. Yeah. Good job. Good job. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Uh, okay. Oh, yeah. So as more than one person calls it you at once, you ha you're going to have to communicate with everybody involved, find what's up, and uh, try to stay calm. Yeah, definitely. Communication and staying calm is definitely the best way to get through life. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Is this one over? Yeah, this one's over. So, we're rolling. Wait, wait. Now we're rolling. No, no, now we're rolling. I just like that, okay? Like this? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay, so why are we here? Oh, this used to be a waterfall. Oh, like, okay, like so I, should I like film like that? No, film the way you're filming before, like it's the river waterfall. But if I film the water, like... No, it, it's just like the waves. It's, beach. it's not really, but... Okay, this is the angle you wanted that? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> kind of weird angle, sorry. Uh, okay, so the next one I think is the ultimate test of friendship. It can be super awkward and embarrassing. Um, Fun is uh, when you um, accidentally friend. Well, uh, accidentally, <laughs> accidentally friend. <laughs> no, accidentally plug your friend's toilet. Not accidentally friend your friend's toilet. <laughs> I'm glad you don't have. A, I don't know what that would be. Okay. Okay. So, but like that happens all the time. People always plug my toilet. Okay. So I think we can all ignore the weird thing my friend here just said. Okay, Allie? Shh. Okay. Yeah, okay. So, uh, this can be super embarrassing. And I think a lot of people, when they plug someone's toilet, they just start flushing. Like, flush, flush, flush is super loud, and I think people will know. Um, I don't think people listen to other people going to the bathroom. They're not like, oh, I, I hear that fart, and, and that pee is coming out now. Oh, plop, plop. Like, people don't listen to, people don't want to hear that. Okay, we're still recording. Alex. Right. Okay. Um, okay. 
so just don't flush too many times it's not gonna do any good um, basically you're gonna have to admit to your friend that you plug their toilet so yeah just let them know they'll, they'll, they'll know that it's okay because everybody poops sometimes so everybody poops we don't have good copyright for that oh I, I was just making up a song that was the song I just made up. Okay, you just made that up. Okay. Okay. No, okay, stop laughing. You're shaking the camera too much. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, just, just tell your friend. Communication is key. As we've been saying through most of our videos, you gotta communicate. You gotta let people know. You gotta talk to people. Yeah. Yeah, so I think she meant segments, not videos. And, uh, yeah. It does happen to everyone. Remember that that time uh, I got stuck upstairs in your house for like an hour? Just disappeared. You mean like five years ago? Yeah, I, I, I accidentally plugged your toilet. It's okay. It happens to everybody. See, it happens to everybody, guys. So, you can, you can work through it with your friends. Yeah, okay. Just, you should have really told me earlier. Uh, you mean like five years ago? It's over now. It's okay. We can get over it, right? Yeah, we can get over it. Okay, let's just move on. Yeah, move on. Okay, on this is it. over now, right? Okay, yeah, this is over. Okay. Okay, cool. You know what? You have it on autofocus. That's why it's going in and out. Okay. Now you have to focus if then it should. Oh, uh, whatever. Okay, so the, uh, this next one is something you might feel like you don't deserve to get over, but you definitely deserve to feel a little bit better about yourself. What well, could be so horrible that you would deserve to get over it? Uh, uh, th this next one is accidentally killing somebody on a beach. Uh, what? You accidentally killed someone on a beach? How? So, uh, uh, a, long, a long time ago, I was... Uh, like, before we were friends, and that's why you never told me? Yeah. Uh, so... Oh, actually. Okay. So, I was, um, it was, it was a long time ago. I was, I was on the beach, and I was, uh, starting to get ready to go, and, uh, I got my umbrella out, and, uh, I closed, I started to close it up, and there was just a person that passed while I was doing that, and I didn't notice. Them and I uh, uh, knocked them over like all the way over, like top of like a domino. And I, I was like, uh, I, I didn't know what to do. And I, I was, I was trying to close it so I could help them back up again. And I, I accidentally hit them again. And uh, I think they were like totally unconscious. And the tide was up close, and that's why I was going to leave because, because, because uh, the, the, because, the, uh, because it was like touching my towel and stuff. And I figured I should, I should probably go. And, uh, I think, uh, the, the dude just, like, he, he fell over, and, and, uh, it was, like, the, the tide kept, uh, the weather waves, and they kept on, like, coming closer, and, like, I was trying to do CPR, but there were, it was, like, hard to keep his head above the water while doing CPR, and I didn't really know how, and I didn't have a phone to call anybody for help, and there, were, there was nobody close enough, but there were people far away that were watching, and, uh, um, and I think they were looking at me like I'm, I was a horrible person, that, and, and they kind of right because I just like killed someone, you know. But, so, but it wasn't your your fault. I mean, it was it wasn't on purpose. It was an accident. He was dead, and then the, the police came. I think someone called them. And there was an ambulance too, except for it was too late for that. And I told them it was all my fault because he died because of me, you know. I told them, and uh, they investigated and said. It was like an accident, so I didn't, I didn't need to go to jail or anything, and, and, and I should just go to a psychiatrist. I should just I should just go to a psychiatrist, and they recommended a psychiatrist, but because it, it, it was like excellent kill someone, like if you run someone over who's like jaywalking or, or jayrunning or something, and, and uh, I I was like. Well, I started going to psychiatrist, but then I lost my job because my, my my boss was like, "Hey, you're you're incompetent now, 
and I can't trust you anymore and and uh, so then I lost my house too and I couldn't pay for psych uh, psychiatry sessions anymore and um, and uh, well I, I was just like really upset you know I didn't have anybody to talk to and uh, no uh, I, I was like me I didn't I was like homeless and that no nobody who would, who would like let me stay with them because like I just didn't and uh, and uh, it really sucked and then then but but I started picking my life back together because you just got to do that you know if if you kill someone on accident like it's not your fault and you guess you just kind of have to realize that no matter how much it hurts and how much it feels like it is and so I had picked my life back together and I got a job and I made a friend and me yeah you Aww. and and uh talk to me though like obviously it might help you not right now okay oh um, and, and you just uh, got over your stupid poop thing we'll get over this right fine but, uh, okay so uh, just remember that it, it's not your fault if you feel guilty about it it makes sense because your actions resulted in the loss of another's life and if you feel guilty, that's normal. If you don't feel guilty, you might actually be a horrible person. And so, um, you, yeah, you should see someone about being a horrible person if you don't feel guilty. And if you do feel guilty, feel, uh, t you should, like, talk to people. Accept your guilt. Yeah, why are you giving them a... You, you never accidentally killed someone. Yeah, but I see you now in your mess, and you didn't do all those things, so I'm guessing... Yeah, okay. Yeah, I guess correctly. Yeah, you get... You did, yeah. Yeah. Is this one over? Yeah, this one's over. Okay. Okay. So this next one is for when your friend realizes why you're actually camping. What? But that that couldn't have been as stressful as like killing someone. Like it's got. Said I wanted to move on. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry. I just feel like we should talk about it. Look, my whole life has been very stressful. Horrible things keep on happening to me, and I just want to move on. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry. Okay, so when your friend realizes that the reason you're, you've been camping for so long is because you're actually homeless, uh, they'll, they'll be supportive. And uh, my my friend Ellie, she camera person right here, uh, she was very supportive and she uh, she helped me find a place to live that was cheap but nice, and she. And and she let me stay with her until I found it. And it's super nice if your friends are any if 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 your friend is anything like mine, like they'll be very supportive. And they are supportive. Well, there are so many nice people out there in the world who will be willing to help you. And um, yeah. Oh, you keep saying how supportive I am. That's so sweet. But if I'm really that supportive, why didn't you tell me you killed someone? Like for real. And also like. I didn't get told that you were homeless, I just found it out. I'm supportive, and you didn't tell you plug the toilet. I had to wait five years to even know what took you so long. And it was, we shared a house, man. We shared a house. And things can be super embarrassing, and sometimes they can be worse than embarrassing. It can just be horrible things. It can be terrible guilt. and. You don't won't know how to admit that you've done something so wrong, and it's all your fault. Except for people are all telling you it's not your fault, and you just won't know how to admit it at all. And, and well, if I don't know how to admit things, if I don't know how to tell people about it, well, the audience is gonna have to because it's an important thing to know. You need to tell people. You need to be able to tell people. Okay, so you know I'm always here for you, right? And and you're not a horrible person, even if you did kill someone. Come here. No, we should probably not hug while you're filming. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. So if if, if just uh, talk, uh, let people know if you're if you're if you're kind of broke and and living in the streets and people people will help you. Yeah. Okay. It's important to be able to talk. Yes. Yeah. Communication is definitely always important.